100.9 the Creek Real Music Real Radio Creekside Mornings Hayes Carl that is Nunya. There's a Steve there's a Steve Rowe joke There's a Steve there Rowe joke in there somewhere. <laughs> Tony Doolin, Charles Davis and it's Monday. It's Monday. It means Alex Von Coitel is here. Good, good morning items. Alex. Good morning. How are you sir? Doing well. How are you doing? Uh I'm good. I'm good. Um I crossed over a line this weekend. And I want you to know about it. Oh, no. I listened to your stream on the YouTube channel oh, of the Mayhem no. game um, <laughs> against Peoria. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what that says about me. I have become a full-on fan <laughs> that I'm like, oh, hell, they're playing. I'm going to get, get on the YouTube stream. Also, that YouTube stream is bulky. Just going to say that. Uh. We'll work on that for next season. <laughs> yeah, He's an idea guy, Alex. Just go I'm with an it. idea guy, Alex. Um, go with but it is very sexy when you talk about being in the crease. I'll just oh, say that. Oh, oh, okay. oh. We are past car line, right? Okay, <laughs> we are. It is eight. Okay, cool. We We're are. good. But no, good yeah. job, man. Hey, thank you. I hadn't listened to your play-by-play before. It's Really? Yeah, you're good. Okay, appreciate you're that. Good. You don't sound like you. I've been told that, yeah. Yeah, I, you don't sound like you. I've been Alex, told I have an announcer voice, whatever that means. Alex, I'm going to tell you this because you might not know the, the context of this. For Tony to tell you that as your voice work sounds good is like... I don't hand out compliments. It's like Jesus handing you a cupcake. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. So... I mean... I mean... You, you hand out compliments <laughs> to the players, just never to me. So. Yeah, never to you. Yeah. But I handed you so, one today. Appreciate that. That's the only one you're probably going to get. So, just so uh, congratulations <laughs> on that. But we got some big Thank news you. to talk yes. about because uh, we are coming into the playoffs this weekend, Saturday night, Knoxville Ice Bears. Talk about the, uh, talk about the selection process because I didn't know how this worked and kind of getting filled in a little bit this morning. Break yeah. that down for us. Yeah, so it's the second year that the SPHL has gone by this format. Basically what it is is the, the top-seeded team gets its pick from the bottom four teams. Which seeds, was Peoria. Seeds 5 through 8. Yes, Peoria was the top-seeded team. So they could pick anyone between Roanoke, Fayetteville, Pensacola, and us. They decided to go with Roanoke. I think that's what most of us thought they would do. Um, and then Birmingham got the next pick because they were the second seed. They ended up choosing Fayetteville because they had a really good head-to-head record against them this season. And then Huntsville, a lot of us thought that they would go with us. It was between us and Pensacola that they could pick from. And, um, you know, with having uh, heard the news about uh, who we got back in Macon, I think it sort of scared Huntsville away from picking us. And uh, they decided to just go with the lower-seeded team, so they picked Pensacola, which me- meant that uh, we got stuck with Knoxville, which we're okay with, I think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> this, this, think side of, this side is very good with that. The other side of that – Maybe not so Yeah, they're much. not so happy about that. What? <laughs> no. uh, tell me about the player we got back. Jordan Ruby. Um, he won a President's Cup championship here a couple seasons ago. Yes, sir. Um, you know, really kind of beloved goaltender here in Macon. And, um, you know, when he left to go to the ECHL in Wheeling, he had the best save percentage in our league at 941, which is off the charts. He played well up there, got a shutout or two, I believe, and, um you know we're we're really excited to have him back and we think he can be a huge um you know huge puck, piece to get for the huge, playoffs huge puck stopper for yeah. us as he always is so, yeah. yeah so uh question going into uh the playoffs um Blair's going to be in in just a bit we're going to kind of work out our game plan but are we still on for line change the Leo Thomas coaches show tomorrow night yes sir okay cool yeah. all right all so right. that is happening that's happening tomorrow night same time same place downstairs same 630 creek stage at the rookery get there about six get your tape yeah. get your drink tip yeah. your tip your servers and your bartenders take mm-hmm. care of Travis take care of him now and you've yeah. got a uh, you have an intro you brought a player today you have an intro uh, it's the second week you've you, you brought your own intros Alex <laughs> I'm just saying this one isn't for me though okay and his name is Travis oh I can dig that one. Mm. WrestleMania was yesterday. The <laughs> there we go. Look at that. You can't see me. I see you. Most I, I players you. don't get their own intro, John. You're the first one, actually. <laughs> you should feel good about that, man. Yeah, yeah it's it's been pretty funny this year. They even made a meme out of it. Yep. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and a gif. Oh, yeah, wow. Gif. Oh, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> when you become your own gif, that's when you've arrived, man. You've hit the top, right? man. That's John Seamer from the Making Meme is here. How are you, man? I'm doing well. Doing well. First time on the show. Oh, yeah. Uh, just... Kind of been uh, waiting for my chance to get out here. Last week, I kind of uh, I was supposed to get a uh, Kletcha back in here as I heard he was supposed to be on the. Had that work out? Uh, yeah, like I said, we both didn't end up coming <laughs> last what week. So yeah, yeah, we had Tyler, the <laughs> ticket guy, last week. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. So we know how that worked out. Kletcha still not made it on the show yet. <laughs> Kletcha's not a morning person, is no, what I'm gathering. No, no. Let's give Tyler some love though. He did a good job. Oh no, no, oh, no, he no, did. no, 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 no,
Uh, also, he was he was kind of the clutch go to. He was. He, he was. really was. Yeah. It's like uh, Tyler. I'm gonna need you to come on. Yeah. 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 You know, the player he offered. Up. He was like, "Hey, if you need somebody, mm. I'm your guy." I'm like, "All mm. right, Tyler." So, John, where are you from? Let's go. Uh, I'm from California. Okay, uh, that's my first question. Okay. <laughs> West Coast, Southern yeah. California. Not exactly the epicenter of hockey. Most of our players come from Canada and up north. Uh, how would you get into hockey, man? Uh, I really started with on rollerblades. Mm. Uh, I would skate around all the time because my cousins did. And when I went to play hockey, um, I wrote a letter to the newspaper when I was like four years old for because my parents didn't have enough money for me to play. And so the local rink near me donated gear to me and let me play my first season for free. Oh, Lord. Oh, wow. That's I've been hooked ever since. That's a great story, man. Yeah. So uh, growing up in Southern California, kind of take us through your, your hockey history. Uh, yeah, so I started on rollerblades. I played roller hockey only until I was about 9 or 10. And then I started to pick up ice. Played, started playing ice. Didn't even know how to stop yet. I would just fly around and hit the boards. <laughs> wow. Just, with automatic brakes. Which, which by the way, is also how I still skate. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. I still, still scored goals, so it's okay. <laughs> My dad still approved. <laughs> and as long as your dad approved, you were happy with yeah, that, Yeah, exactly. Huh? Yeah. You so. scored the goal, then you face planted. That was, <laughs> oh. that was really good. Yeah. So, I mean, I learned how to take a hit. Right? Yeah. Hey, look at exactly. you. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> Learning it early. Yeah. I have seen you skate. You can now stop. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's okay. Now, it's good to know. Yeah. I'm going to ding the bell for that, John. No. So, uh, yeah, so I started there and um, moved on. I played a little bit in Colorado for 18 AAA. Okay. Went back home for my last year, 18s. Um, went to the NHL for my first year juniors. Uh, had a pretty decent start. Got traded halfway through to a, the USHL, which is a, a league, like a tier up, I guess. Yep. And then uh, after that year, I went to the BCHL in Canada for two years and then went to Northern Michigan University for three and then ended up here. So. All right. So how do you enjoy making? I mean, I've been here for three years. I don't mind. Obviously, it. you like it a little <laughs> bit. You're a fan favorite, man. Um, you know, people love you. What's the highest one of your jerseys has brought in auction? That's yeah. always a good question. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, we, <laughs> no, you know, last year I almost beat Dennis Picard. Oof. Almost. That I, close. That was that close. I had 1400 and this <sighs> lady from the back was like, 1600 for oh, Dennis. No. Like, dang it. Oh, <laughs> I had it. I was right there. Yeah. So good. Was that one of the chirps that Dennis gave you this past weekend? Oh, no. He, <laughs> me, and him, uh, me and him have a really good relationship. We, we were on a line together for two years. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, yeah. Y'all are going to be tight like so, that. Like, even, even out there, like he, we're going to battle each other, but even though uh, we got into it in the corner, like there's – if anybody got a picture, it'd probably be the funniest thing ever because we were cheesing at each other like, <laughs> the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> like, we awesome. got to make this look real. Come on, Brian. Yeah. I'm trying to do it to you, man. He's All asking right. me to go, and I'm grabbing his beard. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So, uh, favorite hockey movie of all time? You have three choices: Goon, Miracle, or Slapshot. I'm gonna go with Miracle. Everybody, everybody, everybody goes miracle. miracle. I mean, the, the real Slap hockey player sec, second favorite. Oh. Well, it's just he. And you, didn't, the even, you didn't even give me my option of young bloods. No, I didn't give you that one because well, Rob Lowe. They don't put Mighty Ducks on there that. either, John. I didn't so put I mean. Mighty Ducks on there either, John. <laughs> yeah. really? That would have been mine. And also, the correct answer was Goon. So, <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that. Uh, by the way, I'm a little torn, Alex. I don't know if you know this, but last week, mm. my my Doug Glatt jersey arrived. He's got it. I've got my Halifax Highlanders Glatt oh, jersey. So now I'm goodness. torn about Saturday well, night. Do I wear my Mayhem jersey to do the end game hosting, or do I go with the Doug Glatt jersey? Go. John, what do you think? I mean, if you had an Alexander Laflamme jersey, mm. I'd probably wear it with you. Yeah. I think it was Xavier Laflamme. Is it? Yeah. Xavier. Either way. Yeah, yeah. Either way. Those either are way. available. My second choice was the Ross <laughs> Ray, though. The, oh, yeah. They have that, too. Ross Alex, the boss. He, he had it on before he got that from the mailbox. I was very excited about this jersey. <laughs> took it off. He, he basically he took it out in the street. Out, out of the package on. <laughs> you know your neighbors looked at him crazy, right, when he did that. Okay, I'm just, I'm just asking. That's, That's why story. you get looks right around your house like that. It's because you're sitting there naked in front of your front door putting on hockey jerseys. Well, yeah, the neighbors did find that a bit awkward, but that's all right. Why is he wearing no pants and a hockey I mean, thank you. No pants or nothing. That is. Which will be the official. That may be what I go with Saturday night. No, no, you're going to need to wear pants, sir. You sure? Yeah. yeah. All right. Kids. <laughs> Tickets yep. for Saturday night. Get them now. That's right. Yeah, yeah this thing. Yeah, I, I think this thing's gonna move. Yeah, y'all need to go mm-hmm. get these ASAP. All right, All right we're, we're gonna we're, season ticket holders. Just call our office. Okay, you know, yeah. four seven eight eight zero three fifteen ninety two, and then the general public can just get them. Uh, you know, as normal from the box office yeah. or from the website, the making website. Um, yeah, go and do that. Get them. Let's play game. This is the start of another championship run. 
Yeah. Saturday Gotta night, 735, puck drop at the Centerplex. Yeah. Uh, John, thanks for coming out, man. Thanks, John. Yeah, thanks for having me. Got to get you your, your, your parting gifts. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate mm-hmm. you getting up early. Too bad you couldn't get Clutch up early. But, uh, uh, it's not, that's not, he is not his keeper. It's, it's he is not, not Clutch's keeper. It's not easy. You know? that, <laughs> that is valid. Alex, yeah. mm-hmm. always reasonably good to see you. Reasonably, Alex, yeah. it's <laughs> always great to see you, boss, man. Thanks, Charles. No problem. All right, man. let's play a little music from, uh, let's do the Greyhounds. Okay. No the Woman. It's 100.9 The Creek. Woman.